We got to have you still uh, remain there with us uh, on the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We're taking our second hot topic and we're going to make the best uh, use of the small time that we have to treat this. The topic is Anyoku blames worsening insecurity on failure to prosecute uh, perpetrators. Our guest this morning is Mr. Paul Ejime, public affairs analyst. Good morning and welcome to our program, sir. Thank you for having me, Yambo. Uh, okay. So, I uh, would like to have your, your perspective or your, your thoughts on, the, um, on what Mr. Anyaku said. He's blaming all this on the failure to prosecute perpetrators of this uh, insecurity in our country. What are your thoughts? Uh, good morning also, um, Rune. Um, good morning. Listen, yeah, good morning. My, my people, um, and um, yeah, thank God that the elder states man is um, speaking his mind. He has not only commenting on um, um, national issues and what should be done, because this is the time for every concerned Nigerian really to come out and talk about this problem of insecurity that has uh, taken them, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, appears to be perennial, but it can be solved by a country that has sent um, troops to go and uh, bring peace and solve insecurity uh, problem in other countries. Yes, um, if you don't properly diagnose a problem, you are not likely going, uh, and a disease, you are not likely going to give it um, uh, the, 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 the proper treatment. And that is what and it is not for want of a uh, solution. I think every many people in various um, forums have um, uh, offered solutions. The military is not that I don't think it's not that they don't know the security agencies and everybody, but it's just that political will. Uh, failure, yes, because we have um, uh, people talk about, uh, for instance, uh, Sambisa Forest where. And this is the forest now, the evil forest in the things fall apart. The things fall apart <laughs> where uh, all the evils are coming and nobody, everybody is afraid to go there and so on and so forth. Uh, but what about the ones happening uh, in, in farms where some of these uh, bandits, they call them bandits, they, call, they go by all manner of names, have uh, actually taken over, uh, and it didn't start with this administration or the last one, Taking over swaths of um, of uh, 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 lands in communities, they are in control of some communities where they are now paying them. They are collecting taxes. The alternative governments. Why should that be in a country where you have what it takes to actually put um, Nigerian army is not the worst. They have performed. I have seen them perform. They have been to Liberia. They have been to Sierra Leone. They have been to international. Uh, missions, peacekeeping, they have excelled. Or is it the Nigerian police? Yes, there are issues. But one, it is one, uh, let us take it from uh, the layers. One is that, uh, and it comes from, um, one is that from, I'm not going to go from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Let us go from, from bottom to, to top. top. Mm. Is that policing or uh, is uh, the community issue? And that is why you you have people saying communities will start because you need to know where you know if uh, Yangul is living with us and um, uh, 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 Runa is there, uh, we know each other. Communities know themselves. So when there are infiltrations, mm. you have uh, foreigners or suspects, you know them. Then what happens? From the community, you know, in those days we used to have, um, uh, I don't know, various, they give them various names. What you have now, Amatoku, um, yeah. uh, Dubagu, or whatever you call them. We had them in, in the, in when we had the regions. And we are about, they are, what they do is that nobody is allowed to go free. You have to, if there are no punishments for bad behavior, that society is actually making it possible for people to, uh, you know, to, that you are promoting impunity. So when you now make, see that there are foreigners infiltrating, you have to single them out, not when they come in droves. Make sure that, because they don't just uh, swoop on people, 
they do their their own um, wrecking, reconnaissance to know where the security the, the leech, the weak um, um, uh, links where they will have to penetrate. First, you have to secure yourself, and then even without arms, then you bring them uh, uh, kinetics. But the key thing is also information. Mm -hmm. Information that is what is called intelligence. Intelligence is in processed information, not just information. When you get it, ah, somebody will tell, we will tell the other one, listen, there is, I've seen uh, some uh, suspicious uh, movement there. Who are they? Then citizens are now also part of it. But what has happened is that there is a disconnect between the government and the, those that they govern. Okay. There is mistrust. Yeah. Nobody well, believes the government. Nobody will trust the government. And then even the security agencies. I heard the, military, the chief, um, you know, a very senior military officer saying the other day that when they arrest some of these people, uh, uh, they put them, um, you know, detain them. The next thing is that they are released and they are on the street. In fact, they now go and uh, you that, uh, those that gave information for their arrest, they will come after them. In that society of cross deficit, we cannot fight insecurity. I think so. These are the layers. Information, acting on them, trust, and then action. And involvement of uh, the citizens. Citizen participation. There is no way uh, anybody can do it. In fact, they, thought they call it uh, the intelligence. What you are doing now is people. People driven. You can have your drones. You can have all your, uh, you know, advancements. But if you don't have, uh, you know, personnel, you don't have persons that will help you. This is what was what um, uh, in Iraq, the British um, uh, 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 troops were very, in uh, uh, very um, uh, uh, successful in the area where they where they commanded because they used people to gather information that uh, uh, enabled them to use uh, kinetics when where it is possible. Work with those intelligence. Okay, so it's interesting. Yeah, so it's interesting that you listed these things: information, acting of them, acting on them, trust between the yes. citizens and the government. But yes. um, our last, we had one guest that we actually he also spoke about this trust. You know, so that if we have a community of people, if someone is coming in and trying to infiltrate our our community, we can easily fish them out. But I think. Um, First, maybe the government doesn't even give us that, that willpower for us to be able to do that. That's on one hand. And even if we do, how are we sure that we're secured? That's number two. And number three is, when they arrest these people, what are the things that they do? For instance, in um, the Kaduna Abuja Highway, it was on the papers today, about 30 people were abducted. So when, when these things happen and you arrest these people, you detain them, how are we sure that you would even prosecute them for, for them to not do it again? And for you to also put like a fear into others to ensure that they don't come because we're talking about the worsening um, state of insecurity in our nation. And it's because maybe they're not prosecuting these people. That's why others can actually even spring up. So now they have power. They have leverage. They feel like, you know, we can do these things and nothing is going to happen to us. So what can we do to ensure that we start to prosecute them? You are seeing it. They are being named and shamed. They are doing their time. And they don't come out to start to perpetrate this evil. Yes. One way of ending, what's, his, what's the other name for that is impunity. That people get away with, uh, you know, uh, with murder. Yeah. Nothing, is, nothing happens. And that is where, because there is no deterrent. The other thing that ought to happen also is um, uh, to be able to empower the citizens to, you know, come out. Uh, there has to be, it, you have to build that trust, okay? So, and then um, equip your security, uh, 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 you know, apparatus and personnel properly. We don't have a situation where um, those who are attacking you uh more uh, they have uh, more sophisticated uh, weapons than you do then the other thing my sister is also sincerity uh those fighting this um uh, those fighting this is uh, are you sincere because you have had uh, situations where you will uh you have somebody 
going um, after them, and then they tell you a, 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 a commander receives authority, say no, stop. When you are about to just uh, finish, you know, finish the job, they tell you no, or they are, they tell you no. There is a limit. Uh, that, that, this kind of, um, you know, uh, what do I call it? Uh, 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 inconsistency in the command and control, the message, messaging, the communication that you give, it must be, you know, consistent. You have, in fighting uh, terror, you have to show the, the right hand must know what the left hand is doing. It's not that you have one law for some people and then another law for the sort of people. You have to come with, um, you know, equity. You have to show justice. You can't bring, tell people when you uh, you arrest certain people, they come with, uh, they know, you know, use their, uh, they say you have long leg or whatever, you have contacts or connections, mm. they are released. Before you know it, they disappear. I have, somebody has also said that uh, um, those who have uh, the children of anybody that is connected, that is uh, staying, they will bring an innocent person to, to replace them. Did you hear that? In in detention and release those ones uh, that uh, are well connected. Mm. Politically influential, you know, mm. you know, people. So there is so much inconsistency in this fight. And it can't work. You we have to show your hands. You have to be consistent, you have to be trustworthy, you have to be to be seen, to be fair and just to everybody equity requires that you cannot have one set of law for one set of people or one tribe or one ethnic group and another one for another you know other groups otherwise you those you are promoting uh anarchy and impunity those who are you are trying to to uh, 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 suppress will always rise and um, let us also get to the root of this matter Okay, you um, need us also examine what is the root cause. Why uh, do we have this? Some may say it's ideological, uh, it is religious, but it has also been seen that it's political. Some politicians can enlist some of these people, uh, well, you know, Boko Haram from 2009. Some people said, well, they, they, some people were invited into this country to help in, uh, you know, fighting orders so that to gain political power but the if you are riding on a tiger in most cases you end up um, in its belly so we are not dealing with uh, uh, a monster that we do not know how to handle but still it can be done let us show example let's make example good of others to show that we can handle there is justice in um, tackling insecurity and in, in terrorism and then also in securing our, our, our environment from the community level, village level, to, um, you know, the, the cities, to and then at the national level, and then regionally. Because the, the, the terrorism and uh, security that we are dealing with in, in West Africa is also, um, you know, a transnational um, uh, crime. Okay, we'd like to thank you, Mr. Ejibe. I, I was going to ask you definitions. Who are the perpetrators that we're talking about? Is it is it the people holding the guns or the people drawing the strings or whatever? But you've been able to give us all the uh, root causes or the sources of this uh, insecurity. Politicians, uh, religious heads that are not curbing their members, yeah. and so many other uh, people. So we do know that if we're prosecuting anybody it has to be all these people not just the people the who the board, yes and nobody the should be uh, a yeah. separate town so we would like to thank you at this point for thank coming so on the much. program and being a part of our show thank you so much and happy new year my pleasure yeah. my you. pleasure have a wonderful day you too. Yeah, bye. Right. okay we've been talking with dr uh, mr paul ejume public affairs analyst on uh, the 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 words of uh, mr anyoko who said that uh, it is because the people who are the perpetrators of this insecurity are not being prosecuted. That's why it is festering in our community. We'd like to thank you so much uh, also for being a part of our show this morning. It's always right. wonderful having you. Yes, it is. How do we leave them? Um, well, I think we can still go back to... 
the quote, quote of the, of the day. day yeah. Yes. Do you yeah. remember it? I like you, a motivational speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that might just be another career path. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, as we hand uh, off uh, on the show this morning, we'll leave you with our quote, but in the meantime, my name is Nyamzul Agaji. My name is Rome Paulson. Have a good day. Exactly.